Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to open a PDF file from Angel and place it in the GoodReader app on your iPad. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is your iPad, an internet connection, the latest iOS software update, and finally, make sure that you have the GoodReader app as well. Let's go ahead and begin. The first thing that you want to do is open up your iPad and then open the Safari web browser. I've already done that. And because you're using the Angel Learning Management System on your iPad, it is recommended to use the PDA version, which is located on the lower left-hand corner. There's a little button here called PDA. I'm going to tap that, and it'll give me just a little dialog box here. Now, it's a pretty basic display, but once you get used to it, it's pretty easy to navigate through. I'm looking to go to my courses and I'm searching for the course that holds the Dropbox that I just created in my previous tutorial. And then I'll go to my lessons link on the top. And as you see, I have my Dropbox. And with the iPad, when you tap on a link, specifically a Dropbox link or a folder link, you will have to press or tap the link twice. When you initialize it with the first tap, you'll get a submenu. I'll tap it one more time, and then that will open up the, uh, the actual Dropbox. And you'll see on the bottom the submissions that I have, and there's two that I actually created for this tutorial. The first one that you see is actually a Dropbox link. And depending on whether you allow a student to submit a link that's connected to the Dropbox application or their account, uh, then they can actually copy and paste the link from their iPad into the Angel Dropbox folder. Uh, so then that way all you have to do is just select the actual link itself, copy it, and then I'm going to hit this plus sign on the top right corner of my Safari browser, tap the address bar, and then I will just paste that link in there. And when I finish that, I'll hit go. And the PDF file that the student submitted, or for in this case, that I submitted, will show up in my browser window. I have two options. I can add it to my Dropbox if I have a Dropbox account, or I can actually download it. And it will show up in my Safari window as a PDF file. Now you'll notice on the right-hand corner, I'll tap again my window, anywhere in the window you'll see that it says open in Dropbox or open in. Well, I want to open this in GoodReader. So once again, I'll tap the window and then I'll click open in and I have a variety of different options. I want to open this up in GoodReader. And just like that, you see that I have my file now open in GoodReader and it's ready for annotation. We'll cover the annotating tools in another tutorial. I want to go back now. I'm going to use a four finger swipe swipe up and you'll see I have a list of all of my apps. I'm going to go back to Safari. I'll just close out of this tab and I want to go hit the back button here. I want to go to the second submission which is an actual PDF file. I'll click on that link and I'll look below and you'll see on the bottom there there's an actual link. When I click on it a new tab is opened up the PDF file is automatically downloaded and I'll do the same thing that I did with the other link. I'll tap the window and since GoodReader was the last app that I opened a file in from Safari, you can see that I have that option right there. I'll tap it. GoodReader opens up and I can begin my annotations. This concludes our tutorial on how to add a PDF file from Safari, whether it be a link or from an actual PDF file from Safari and it takes it right to GoodReader. We've also included directions and a PDF format for you for this tutorial so you can download it and review it at your own pace. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any other tutorial, feel free to contact us. Thanks once again for watching this tutorial. We hope you have a great day.